Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here and today we are doing a makeup on the red carpet. It feels like so long since the last time I filmed one of these videos because well there hasn't been any red carpets and last year some of the stars weren't even really getting dressed up for the red carpet or for their at home red carpet so I haven't really had the opportunity to do this series. I am so happy to kind of be bringing this back. Hopefully we continue on this route of people at least getting dressed up, even if they have to stay home. I want to see the makeup and the dresses, and that is what we talk about on Makeup on the Red Carpet. In this video, we're going to be going into the Golden Globes, which just finished airing this weekend, and we're going to go through all of the exact makeup products that the celebrity makeup artist used on their celebrities, and we're also going to go over their dresses at the end of the video I will tell you guys my favorite look of the night when it comes to makeup and also when it comes to their dresses so this is a really fun video I love making this video I love using my detective skills to find out the exact makeup products that were used and I like to look at the eye looks that the celebrities are wearing because you know these are the top top tier makeup artist creating these looks. They are telling us what's going to be in for the coming seasons. They are showing us what we should be looking forward to. So I am so excited to be sharing this video with you guys. So if you guys are excited, hit subscribe, join the family. I love to talk about makeup and fashion. And if you guys like those things, then this is the channel for you. Let's go ahead and let's get into this. We've got a lot of celebrities, a bunch of really pretty makeup looks, and oh my God, yes, yes, yes we've got some amazing fashion. All right, so if you guys can tell, I decided to dress up today because you know, the celebrities dressed up from home. So for this video, I like to pretend like I was invited. So we've got a few celebrities to go through some amazing makeup looks and oh my gosh, there is a dress here I would wear every day, every day. So let's go ahead and let's get into the first celebrity. So for the first celebrity, let's talk about Amanda Seyfried, okay. I love this girl. She is like one of my favorite artists. Like I just think that she is an amazing actress. I'm obsessed with this dress, guys. I literally think that this girl knocked it out of the park with her outfit. So this is an Oscar de la Renta amazingness. I love the peach tone on her. I think it looks so beautiful with her fair skin. Those florals that are cascading off of her shoulders and then doing this beautiful scoop in the back. Everything about this dress is screaming like a princess that I just like, I'm obsessed. I love the old Hollywood hair. I think that she knocked it out of the park. When you look at her makeup, her makeup is soft, but she has very sultry looking eyes. You know, they use that brown liner to kind of accent her eyes. She's got these beautiful light eyes. Her lips are super, super subtle, but almost muted, kind of match the color of her dress. I think that this was a stunning, stunning outfit. And the makeup was by Genevieve Herr. I do list all of their Instagrams down below because sometimes I don't say their names properly. Everything that was used on Amanda Seyfried was from Lancome. So the Lancome eyeshadow palette that she used was the Color Design Eyeshadow Palette in Boys Coral beautiful eyeshadow palette. I haven't actually seen this. Like I'm wondering if this is something that was for the spring collection of Lancome, but I don't remember seeing this palette. And for her lashes, she used the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara, which is a very known mascara from Lancome. She also used the Tint Idol in order to create a contouring effect on her skin. I think that this look was phenomenal phenomenal. I think it was insanely beautiful. I actually want to recreate this look just that's how much I really love it. I love the peach tone of the lips. I think that this was a knockout standout look for the night. So the next look is from Andra Day and she is dressed in Chanel. So now this look is very interesting. This kind of reminds me like a 1920s but a little bit more modernized look. I love the way that the top has that crochet. You know that crochet was very in and actually it's kind of going Going into like a netting look so this kind of has like that netting appeal to it I love the way it's playing on a little bit hard and then it has this really soft almost tool looking bottom everything about this is really pretty I love the way her hair looks and I love those lips I think that they did an amazing job combining the makeup with this look the look itself has only a basic white color it does have a little hardness to it because it has that netting but I think that the way that they complemented this was amazing with those 
lips. So her makeup artist was Porsche Cooper. For the eyeshadow palette she used was the Chanel's Les For Ombres in Warm Memories. This was a palette that I remember when it came out. This is a beautiful palette. It also has that peachy tone in it. So you guys can kind of see like a little peachy tone trend. I think that that is very exciting for me. I love a good peach. And then for her lips, she's using the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Lipstick in Rouge Chanel. Beautiful classic red lip. Like I said, I really think that that's what pulled this whole look together. It just looks so gorgeous. It looks very Chanel. It looks like Chanel bringing it up a notch and I also think that this was a very, very, very well put together look. So when this one posted on Instagram, I shared this on my stories because I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. So Elle Fanning, actually I do not think that she went to the carpet because if you guys don't know, there was not a real red carpet because of this whole, you know, thing that's going on in the universe. She didn't, they didn't actually have a red carpet. So a lot of the celebrities got dressed at home and they just did like virtual things and people took pictures of themselves but some celebrities did go to the actual award show because they were actually like announcers and the announcers went to the award show so I do not think Elle Fanning went I think she took pictures at home which were <laughs> beautiful photos like you guys see these pictures so she is dressed in Gucci I think anything will look good on her. She's tall, she has beautiful blonde hair. She just looks amazing in this outfit. I love the color of it. Like it's just very complimentary to her skin tone. I love that it looks almost like satiny. It kind of looks like a very elegant lingerie. Doesn't she look like a Disney princess? I think she looks elegant, beautiful. I love the dress. I think it's perfect for her. So her makeup artist was Erin Monroe and everything that she was using was L'Oreal. So we love to, I love to see drugstore makeup in these more upscale events because it just goes to show you guys that you don't need to always buy the really expensive makeup to create beautiful looks. So in this look, she was using the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner and it looks like the color is is more of like a brownish black is what I can see from here. So for her lip color, this beautiful pink, gorgeous pink, unexpected with this like bluish dress, it is the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick in Fever. I love the take on this. I love the way that the makeup is very subtle. I, I love that they used a more dramatic eye line and I love the lip color. I think it was just a really cool play on the dress this could have been done a different way. It could have been very subtle or it could have been very smoky, but I like the accent lip. I think it was very cool. And it also shows a little trend that we see here, a little accent lips going around. If you guys haven't noticed, there's a few little accent lips. So Julia Garner, I love her. I love Ozark. I think she's an amazing actress. So she is dressed in Prada. She has like a cool girl vibe. Like every time I see her at award shows, like I feel like they just dress her perfectly. It's perfect for her. So this looks very Prada. It's very low V. It's black and white. It just matches her aesthetic really, really well. It's a very cute dress. I like her earrings and her earrings are a little bit unexpected because they're a little bit bulkier and they also have like that kind of like black and white look to them. But I think the standout here is that makeup as well. Look at those lips. Like what is that lip color? We need to know, right? So here she's using all Chanel and her makeup artist is Hung Van Gogh, which you guys know, very, very famous makeup artist. So he's using everything from Chanel. The Chanel lip color that she is sporting in this photograph is the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom Lipstick in Sunlight. What a beautiful lip color amazing, amazing compliment to the black and white outfit. So for her eyebrows, if you guys can see a very nice accent on the brows, she is using the Chanel Sculpting Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde Sindri. Now also, if I one of the things that I noticed the most about her, and I actually had to go into Instagram to kind of look at the description because I wanted to know what foundation she was wearing. Her skin just looks radiant and beautiful. So she is using the Les Beige Chanel foundation, healthy glow foundation. So beautiful. I think that this was another really gorgeous look. One of the things I've been noticing during this award show is I feel like the makeup is a little bit more pronunciated around the lips, which is funny 
because I feel like what everybody's saying now is let's not put too much lipstick on but in this award show everything is about adding lots of pops of colors to the lips. So Angela Bassett stepped out in this beautiful purple dress. Now I feel like this dress was like a standout dress. A beautiful purpley plum color. It has feathers on it which you guys know feathers is huge for spring. So this dress is very on trend. You also have the asymmetrical look. I love it on her. I think the color is perfect for her skin tone and one of the things I kept looking at was her eyes. I kept kind of like zooming in on her eyes because I was like god that looks very familiar like the coloring and when I found out what she was wearing I was like oh that makes a lot of sense like Christina obviously. So she is using Pat McGrath and her uh, makeup artist was DeAndre Michael and he used the Eternal Eden on her eyes. So I knew like that pinky undertone with a little bit of like that mauvey metallic looked like a similar thing that I had seen just recently and it is because she was using the Eternal Eden which is a palette I own and I also think is very pretty and it looks amazing on her skin tone. So for her lipstick she is using the Divine Rose Matte Trance Lipstick. She actually re-released this lipstick just recently and the Divine Rose Highlighter which a lot of people picked up and a lot of people loved and that is what she is using on her skin. I think that she looks absolutely stunning. This was another huge win. I do think it all just complements her so well. I don't think everybody could wear this dress but I definitely think she could. Honestly guys this look was pretty impeccable. Like there was just something so unique and gorgeous about Lily Collins. Now Lily Collins was also somebody that I do not believe she went to the award show. I actually saw Fiona Stiles start showing these images up on her Instagram and I was like oh my goodness like this is just incredible. So Lily Collins is wearing YSL. This dress guys this dress almost looks vintage like it almost looks like it just came off of like a vintage runway. I'm just like obsessed with the coloring in this dress. It looks so beautiful with her dark hair. So her dress is by YSL. I love this. I don't think it was couture but it looks like it would be. Um, her makeup artist was Fiona Styles, and wow the makeup guys she did such a good job. I love that she picked colors from the dress and incorporated it into the eye but in a very classy way okay. I love how she did purple on the top. She did green on the bottom like oh my goodness was this not such an artsy gorgeous look and then the lip color is just absolutely phenomenal. So for the products that she used I did actually find some of the products um, for her foundation she's using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. I actually feel like I want to try this foundation now. So her blush is the Subtil in Mocha Havana and then for her eyes she is using the Lancome Color Design in Midnight Stone and in Sirens Emerald. That's how she did that double eye look and I just think it's so beautiful. So and then for her lip gloss which that's just like very noticeable. I wanted to know what that one was. It was the Lancome Lacquer in 296. So that is how she got this look. Oh my goodness, I just think she looks stunning. I think everything about this was just so cool. Yeah, it's a little bit more editorial. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit more vintagey, but I thought it was so, I, I just thought it was so cool. So for the last celebrity that we're going to talk about, I loved this look. So this is Anna Taylor Joy. Okay, I remember her from a lot of movies and just recently seen her in Peaky Blinders. I love her. I think she's so amazing. So her, her dress, wow, Dior Couture. I believe that she was a winner, probably for the Queen's Gambit. I think she looked so gorgeous in this emerald dress, guys. Like, she just, she looks like a doll. Like, it's just so pretty on her. I think it fits her to a T. I love the dress. I think it was, she knocked it out of the park. The color is perfect with her really blonde hair, her fair skin tone. Um, her makeup artist was Georgie Easel. I, you know, she does amazing makeup. I've been following her Instagram for a really, really long time. And for her makeup, they did everything with Dior. Her eyeshadow, she did a very cool tone look. I try to do a cool tone look today too, just to like, kind of like, go with something similar. So for her look she used the Dior 5 Colors Contour Eyeshadow Palette in 599 New York. Really pretty cool tone eyeshadow palette from Dior. Actually she had all of the new Dior palettes out and I was like which one is she gonna use? I was watching her Instagram. This is the one she ended up with. And then for her skin she used the Dior Skin Glow Foundation. I 
think, is this the new one? I think this is the new one that just launched as well. So that's how she was able to create this beautiful, cool tone look that just looks so amazing with this emerald green dress. So those were the standout celebrities for me. There was a bunch of other looks. I did think that Margaret Robbie looked pretty, but there was a lot of pretty looks, but these were my standouts. And now let's get into the moment. I tell you who I think was the best dressed and the best makeup. And this is not hard for me at all, guys. This one, I feel like I already 100% know. For the best dressed of the night, I've gotta give this to Amanda Seyfried. I am obsessed with this dress. I wanna wear it. I don't know where I would wear it, but I want to wear this dress. I think she knocked it out of the park. I think everything, I think ensemble-wise, she did an amazing job. So then when it comes to the best makeup, I'm gonna give it to Lily Collins. I just think it was so cool. I love that it was different. It was different from what everybody else was doing. There was a lot of pop of lip colors and or very neutral or smoky, but then she just went and played with color. I just think it complemented everything so beautifully. I think Fiona Styles killed it with the makeup. So I'm gonna give best makeup of the night to Lily Collins. So that is it. That is the makeup on the red carpet for the Golden Globes of 2020. I want to know from you guys, who did you guys think was the best dressed and best makeup? Sound off down below. Give me your thoughts. And until the next red carpet, I will talk with you guys later. Bye.